What's going on guys? Today we're going to test out bodies. We got four different bodies that we're going to try out. We got the ZR1, 2R8, and the NSX body. Uh, we're all going to put them on with the blow hair dryer and we're going to see the way they react differently with and without wings. So the scales are on. We're just going to use my box stock. It is ready to go. We got batteries in, tires on, everything is ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to put every time we're going to put them on the black lines so you'll see we got 80 up front 85 in the rear we're going to zero them out and we're going to see how this reacts to a little bit of wind now my hair dryer is set up to run about 21 to 22 kilometers an hour on high so that's about what a box stock goes anyway so it works out perfectly and let's get this test started all right, here we go. So you'll see there, five grams of rear downforce and zero in the front. All right, you can see now we have removed the rear wing. Now we're gonna see how much we save weight by removing the rear wing and the screws so we the wing cost us three grams in the rear so we're going to go ahead and zero this out all right now we're going to turn on a hair dryer and see how much the downforce has changed You saw there we had three grams in the front and three grams in the rear of downforce so that's a very even equal balance as you can see the weight difference is different 88 and 82 we cannot take this wing off it is hard mounted it is what it is but now we're gonna zero them out and we're gonna see what the downforce is of this body all right so let's turn on the hair dryer Now you'll see there we saw five grams and zero grams. All right, so you'll see here 79 grams, 88 grams. So it is a more rear biased uh, body. So now we're going to zero them out. And we're going to turn on the fan or on the hair dryer, and we will see what the downforce is. So, so we saw two and five grams. Now we're going to take the rear wing off and see how the balance changes. All right, so here you'll see that that wing and screw set weighed two grams only. If you remember the Audi LMS 2015 weighed three grams. So we, this body, this rear wing setup is a gram lighter. Now we will zero it out and turn on the hairdryer. So we saw four grams in the front and zero grams in the rear. So the rear, not really making any downforce in the front's got quite a bit of downforce compared to the Audi and the Corvette. All right, so now you will see 84 and 86. So this body is quite a bit more nose heavy than say the NSX. Now we will zero them out. And we are gonna turn on the hair dryer. Mm -hmm. 
So again, you saw there we had zero and four grams in the rear. All right, so you will see here that the Audi rear wing weighs three grams, just like the other Audi. Now we're gonna go ahead, zero it out, and turn the hair dryer on. All right, let's turn the hair dryer on. All right, there you go. We saw two grams in the front and zero grams in the rear. All right, so now the next thing I'm curious about is how much each body actually weighs. So we're gonna go and we're gonna weigh each individual body and just to see what the difference is between them. So first up, we got the Audi R8. This is the LMS, not the 2015. 35 grams. Next up, we have the Audi R8 2015, and this one weighs 30 grams. Next up, we got the ZR1, and that one weighs 35 grams. Then the NSX comes in at 33 grams. So the Audi R8 2015 LMS, that one's the lightest one out of the bodies that I currently own. All right, hopefully that was a little bit of fun and a little bit of science, and now we understand the aerodynamics on these bodies a little bit better. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thank you, guys.